So back to the next lecture of the C programming playlist. In this lecture, we are going to see the nested if else and if else ladder. We have covered the if and if else, also the some basics about the statement chap statements in the previous two chap uh, two lectures. So if you did not watch this video, please go back and watch the previous two lectures because if you did not watch these videos, you will not get anything about the statement. So please go back and watch that two videos and then come back to this video and learn about the nested if else uh, and if else ladder. So without wasting much more time, let's get start with the if nested if else. So let's move towards the computer screen and let's see the what is nested if else. So we have a nested if else. So we will learn this nested if else with one scenario in the programming. Let's see we have one two variables which is int a equals to 10 and another variable we have int b equals to 10 t and third variable we have c equals to 30 okay these are the three simple statements we have then we have if else condition let's see we have if a is less than b then we can check here we can print here like previously we have printed like a is less than b so just like that but here we have another option if this condition will become true then we can write another if statement as well inside it we can have a multiple if statement inside the if statement if we have a this if statement first if statement inside that we have another if statement like if a is less than c then we can print something we have again we also have we may have another if a is less than b sorry we already covered it we may have a so inside this this if a and b also we may have another if statement also if b is less than c we can also write like this this and we have this statement inside that. so how this execution will happen so firstly it will go with the a is less than b if this condition will become true then it will go towards the a is less than c if again this condition will become true then it will goes inside this block and will execute the whatever the statement so in this block we are again have a, having another statement like b is less than c if it is checking the condition with the hip statement so it will again go to check if it will become true it will execute this block if not then it will directly execute the statement whatever after this block so let's move towards the replit and let's execute this program practically so we have our program like we have third statement int c equals to 30 let's make this a equals to 10 and let's write first if statement if a is less than b then again we can check here if a is also less than c then we can print A is less than B and C. Okay, we can print like this. So we are what here we are doing. We are just nesting the if statement inside the if statement, and we are increasing the depth of that if statement so that we will get appropriate output that we want. So here it's firstly we'll check the a is less than b. So it will check that 10 is less than 20. Yeah, it's true. Then it will move inside this if statement block, which is this. So inside this block, we have one statement, another component statement, which is if statement. It will again check a is less than c. So 10 is less than 30. It is true. Then again it will move inside this if. So at that place, if we have another if statement, then it will again check the condition and again goes with the statement if if a block will become true. So here we have only these two if uh, if if nested block. So it will firstly check with the first. If it is true, then goes with the second, which is inside this if. If this a is less than b will becomes false, then it will not check this if a is less than b because this if is inside this first block and due to the condition it will becomes false this another block which is inside the previous block will not get executed it will directly move toward the whatever statement we have after this if let's see if we have a statement like else so it will go towards the else statement here we are just printing none for our reference only not doing much more here so here we have it's less than b and c 
so let's see what output we will get so here we got a is less than b and c why because it firstly checks here 10 is less than 20 yeah it's true it moves inside the block and we again got another if statement here it is checking that is less than c here a is 10 less than 30 yeah it's true then it's printed the statement yeah we can use else statement along with this if also here we can also take else like this yeah so inside the one if else there may be another nested if else also nested if also is there these two probabilities are there we can use and in this else also we have multiple if else we have multiple if else like this this all the possibilities are there like this we can have multiple statement inside this line so this is about the if else nested if else okay so this is about the nested if else this video will become somewhat lengthy so we will see the if else ladder into the next lecture till then keep learning keep coding and thank you